Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh my God, it's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long. It feels so weird to turn on this camera. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been having a little bit of nerves and this is like my 12th take of this video, just to be totally honest. So I'm very much out of practice in terms of filming, but here I am. I'm here, I'm showing up, and I got the information for you guys. For those of you who are new, I'm Beverly, or B for short, and this is Elevation 44, and we talk about all things astrology, spirituality, life, up-leveling, everything in between. So we are here elevating together, elevating our minds, elevating our hearts, elevating our souls. We are doing it all, and we're doing it here together. And on this channel, we aim to just break it down but break it down simply like I want it to be easily digestible I want you to be able to take what you need to take out of this and run and implement it in the way that you see fit in your own life so you can do your own up leveling so that is uh, what we intend to do over here in short and I've been gone for a long time and I promise I will give you an explanation <laughs> but I will say in short that 2023 oh Child, it was challenging, challenging, challenging for so many of us, and life was lifing, and I just needed to sit down, and I'm glad that I sat down. I sat down a little bit too long, but, um, you know, I'm here, and that's all that matters, and we're picking up the pieces, and we're moving forward. Much wiser, you know, we're much wiser this time around because, you know, life came and taught us some lessons, so... Today, I have the Capricorn New Moon video for you. So we're going to go into the Capricorn New Moon. Um, you know, we're going to look at the chart together because I just don't want to be in the mindset of like where I left off in terms of like over preparedness for these videos where I was doing the notes and just exhausting myself and got into a place where I just felt like picking up the camera felt started to feel like a chore. Um, and so I don't want it to be that way. So we're going to look at the chart together and we're just going to talk about it very, very casually and hopefully you get something out of this video. Okay. So let's just go ahead and dive in because I'm losing lighting and I'm looking at my computer screen because I got the chart pulled up right here. So this, uh, Capricorn new moon is going to be on January 11th. So one, one, one. Okay. And this is very, very indicative of the energy that's been ushered in in 2024 so far, even though we're just a couple days into 2024, the shift of energy from 2023 to 2024 was felt like immediately, like there was no like mistaken that there was a transition. <laughs> now, is life still life in certain ways? Absolutely. But you can feel the spirit in the air just kind of pick up a lot more because, baby, <laughs> 2023, is it had its high highs and its low lows. Um, and those challenges were really, really, really challenging in new ways that we had to figure out, right? So with this Capricorn new moon, Capricorn is that energy that is like, okay, I want to think about my big picture goals. Where am I headed? What am I doing? And how am I getting there? Like Capricorn is very focused on getting, getting to it, okay? And after coming out of the year that we've come out of, like this first new moon of the year of 2024 of this calendar year is telling us like, yes, Let's let's look again. We came out of all this retrograde energy. I think we only have one planet in retrograde, which is Uranus, right? So Uranus is still in retrograde, but everything is is out of retrograde. And that means everything is moving forward again. So we're like, okay, now we want to we have some momentum. We want to we want to push it forward, but are we still going in the right direction? Number one is what we're asking ourselves because sometimes those goals we set a year ago, two years ago, a couple months ago don't apply anymore, especially if you, as you've learned certain things about yourself, as you've gotten some of these lessons and this wisdom, you're like, hey, you know, actually, I don't want to focus on that anymore. Hey, actually, I want to go in this direction or because this feels more aligned or whatnot. So we're reassessing our goals. We are trying to figure out what steps to take next or we may be in the process of taking those steps, okay? Because we, we have that clarity in that direction, right? And it's an inner clarity. It's not an outer clarity. It's an inner clarity. And some of us are still thinking through that process, but some of us are getting those answers now. And it feels 
good okay so this new moon the reason why i'm focusing on new moon energy now in 2024 primarily in terms of the the moon cycles doesn't mean that i discount any other part of the moon cycle because they're all important and i have videos on that you can go back and look at all of that stuff that i talked about but 2024 i want to talk about the intentions that we're setting the intentions are important. The seeds that we plant are so important. The physical seeds, the mental seeds, the spiritual seeds, all of it matters. And I want us to capitalize on that because that's what new moon energy is about. It's about planting those seeds, okay? Um, so we're going to focus on planting the right seeds this year because we are in an eight year and an eight year is about more. <laughs> it is about more, but it's more with the work and the intention that you set forth, right? So you only get to see the results based off of what you put in. And I'll have more information on that coming. So like, don't be worried that we're not going to be diving too much into that, but it all ties in together. And this Capricorn new moon is the first new moon of this year. And it is the right energy to start us off. Like it is the right energy. Okay. So I'm looking at the chart. We have Mars also in the sign of Capricorn, right? At the time of this new moon. Mars is our energy, our drive, our ambition, our go-getting, right? This is our, our, you know, our fearlessness, our taking action. And it's in Capricorn. Capricorn, which is what we just talked about, is that strategy, is about that work. It's about um, going after what we want, the big picture. It's about leading. It's about taking those chances and seeing out what we want, right? And so Mars is driving this. It's like the, the fire that's lighting everything up under this new moon energy. So the intentions that we're setting, we're focused. We are focused <laughs> and we're, or we are getting focused, right? Um, so we, there's a certain seriousness to like getting after it and getting it done. Like we, we really want to see these things come in and that could be different for so many different areas of us because, you know, we're all, you know, different in terms of our charts and our rising signs. So this could be touching on different areas of life for you and i'll go through that a little bit um towards uh, the middle to the end of this video but keep in mind that what you want right now is like at the top of mind what you want and what you see fit for yourself and that is based off of what you learned in 2023 and what you went through in 2023 now it's like gloves off <laughs> gloves off let's go right so Pluto is also in Capricorn with this new moon and Pluto is on its very, very last leg of Capricorn. And it's been in Capricorn for some years now, just tearing down the structures and the systems, not only on a global level, right? We're seeing it on the, with the businesses and how the world functions and different things going on there, but it's also been tearing down certain structures and things in our lives that weren't really built on anything solid. It wasn't built on anything solid. Sometimes you got to tear that house down, get down to that foundation, fix the cracks, fix everything in the foundation, lay the new foundation, and then build a new house. And that's what Pluto in Capricorn has been doing for us in our lives individually as well as collectively, okay? And that's on its very, very last leg. It's about to move into Aquarius on the 20th of January. So get ready for that energy shift and all of that. But we're, we're capitalizing on that last bit of Capricorn energy where Pluto is. And that's also helping tie into this new moon where we, we have transformed so much. We have transformed so much. <laughs> like we have come so far. We have learned so many lessons, some of them so hard, right? What do we do to implement that now? W what do we take? Because wisdom is applying that knowledge. How do we apply what, how we've, you know, torn down the structures that weren't stable, that weren't solid in terms of our mental, our, uh, some of the physical structures, some of our relationships, some of our, you know, just different things. How do we take that and we plant new intentions and we're moving forward in a way that is much more aligned with us now, that's much more true and authentic to the path ahead, Right. So there's a lot of supporting energy from other planets around the chart. We've got um, Saturn <laughs> and Neptune and Pisces. And that is trining this, um, not trining, this sextiling, this new moon. And so Saturn, again, Capricorn is Saturn rule. Saturn is about our responsibilities, our, you know, accomplishments, our direction, our strategy, our focus, that a lot of that 
is where Saturn comes in. Saturn is hard work, but Saturn is also big rewards, okay? The more you put in, the more you get out with Saturn. Our imagination is expanding and we're, we're just feeling really like good in terms of how we're dreaming um, and um, expanding our mindset around our goals and the different things that we want to accomplish. It's a, really a lot about this next phase of life for a lot of us um, about what we're leaving here, our legacy. And not legacy in terms of like, oh, what are you leaving your children? Like legacy in terms of like, how are you leaving this place? Are you leaving it a little bit better than when you came? <laughs> like, in le like, if you are not leaving it a little bit better than how you found it, then there's something wrong. And I say that in sense of like, you don't have to be Mother Teresa and be doing it on a grand level of the world stage. But if you have impacted one life or two lives or something small, like if you just left something as small, you know, as, as, as like one experience that up leveled something, that's it. Like we are here for a reason. I really, really am a firm believer in that. And if you don't resonate with that, this is probably not the channel for you, but that's, that's it, right? We're here for a reason. So it's all about thinking about how we are contributing while we're here. Jupiter is moving through Taurus and we have Uranus that's been moving through Taurus for a while that is still in retrograde. And Jupiter is saying, yeah, like, I'm gonna help you. <laughs> like, whatever you want, I'm gonna help you. I'm, I'm, a, I'm also gonna give you the optimism, the faith and the hope to sprinkle all over your plans, okay? Whatever you're thinking about, yeah, I'm about to hype it up. Like, yes, you can do it. I'm gonna let you know, like, this this, this can be possible for you. So Jupiter is bringing its good energy into the mix and Uranus is just making us internally reflect of like some creative ways we can do it. Now we're, we're like, we're pressing that innovative button uh, on how we can get there creatively. Take the time, give yourself the time to be imaginative, to, to dream, to just let it go without bounds. Don't rein it in. Sometimes you just need to let it run, let that mind run in terms of that imagination and that dreaming aspect. Um, Cause a lot of us have lost that. We have that as children and we lose that in adulthood because of the world and the conditioning, right? But this is a lot of the energy that's coming in. Um, the thing that is also happening here is that the North Node in Aries is squaring this new moon. Um, so there could be a resistance that you're feeling around the direction. Like you, sh you could be being pulled in one direction or physically being pulled in one direction or um, what do you call it? I would say being pushed in one certain area by society or like the outside right? Whereas internally you feel like a pull in another direction and it's not necessarily lining up. So there could be a tension there with what you think you want or need or you should be doing versus what your internal compass is trying to get you to align to. So it could be a lot of the feeling like you're wanting to hold on to the old way when it is time for a new way <laughs> and the new way feels scary because you haven't done the new way before and you're like well how does this work and I don't have experience with the new way so I feel comfortable with the old way but it's asking you to let that go because the north node is pulling you in a new direction um so to allow that tension to ease you have to trust you have to just trust with that I will just kind of briefly touch on with your rising sign what area this new moon is um on your chart in terms of like life areas that you may be feeling a lot of this um energy pulling up <laughs> in terms of like where you're focusing right now where you want to get busy and where you want to you know just change things and and move finally move forward right so capricorn if you're capricorn rising this is happening, this new moon is in your first house, the house of self. Um, that means that you are transforming. You as an individual 
you uh, have gone through so much change, <laughs> as especially as Pluto has been moving through the sign of Capricorn. Um, you've gone through all these transformations and transitions and different changes, and you've kind of arrived at this place. And as Pluto's getting ready to move out of um, Capricorn, you're now at this place of like, okay, the me that I'm looking at now is completely different than the me that, <laughs> you know, I was seeing years ago or months ago or whatever. So now what? How do I move forward with being authentic and true to myself in terms of who I am now and who I've become or am still becoming. Um, so a lot of your goals are now shifting from what you were or who you were to now who you are. For my Aquarius risings, this is hitting your second house, your money house, your values. So a lot of that stuff has really, really uh, changed for you. Basically, what you're willing to trade your time and energy for in terms of what you receive in return resource wise um and what you value like what is the value on that what is the value that you place on things so a lot of your goals and your strategy and the way that you're approaching life um the intentions that you're needing to set is going to be different um because you're different right pisces your pisces rising this is hitting your third house and so your communication um this could be you know, maybe you've had an idea to like write a book or do some type of podcast or um, I know podcasts are like everybody has a podcast or something where you're communicating to an audience or something where you're communicating or something where you're um, having an impact in your community. Um, there could be your goals around your, your, your just your own immediate community and how you're making that better and how you're contributing in that way so the intentions and the goals and the different things that you're setting um are aligning with either communication or how you're improving your immediate surroundings in terms of um your community if you're aries rising this is hitting your fourth house this new moon and the, the new moon in your fourth house is like your family has transformed your the the goals, um, the structure that you're building upon your like what you value family wise, your 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 roots, your ancestry, the honor you know the honoring of that, um, your home environment. Um, a lot of the intentions that you're looking to set is around there, and you're getting a lot of internal clarity, or you've gotten a lot of internal clarity about how to move forward in this direction that feels more authentic to you. Taurus, Taurus rising. This is your fifth house, okay? This new moon is asking you to set intentions um, around your creativity, <laughs> around your romance and your play. Um, and the reason why romance is a part of it is like, because that's a part of play. So it's your creativity and your play primarily. Romance is just a byproduct of it, right? Um, but your that could be coming into big focus for you and how you're using your creativity and your fun and your playfulness and kind of the lighter side of life to kind of fuel your goals and your ambitions and the things that you want to do and how you want to contribute okay Gemini rising this new moon is happening in your sixth house your everyday routines work the, the things that you do all the time to support the bigger things it's like all those little steps that you take because when you look back, you're like, oh my God, I already walked two miles. And you're like, okay, you didn't realize you walked two miles by taking one step at a time. So it's focusing on that one step at a time. Your routines, your goals, your health, your everyday life is supported by what you do on the day to day. So your intentions, your focus on, you focus on looking at that, kind of the pieces of the larger puzzle, right? Cancer, Cancer Risings, <laughs> this means the new moon is in your seventh house. And a lot of your intentions um, are going to be <sighs> focused on the relationships, those closest to you. Um, and it's not just romantic relationships, it's business relationships. It's super close friendships. It's like those relationships. So utilizing those either experiences that you've had from the relationships that are really close to you or how do you use those relationships to fuel those goals or those long-term ambitions or those things that you want to be focused on? Like, look at the people around you. That's what it's asking you to do. And set some intentions on how to use either those experiences that you've had or 
what new experiences can you set with those around you in order to support your long-term goals and visions, okay? Leo Risings, this new moon is happening in your eighth house. So these intentions are all about the things that you share with others, those shared resources. So what do you share with others in terms of who you are, number one, like your experiences, your stories, all of that? Like, how do you share that? Two, your physical resources. How do those shared resources either support you or support others and support the larger goals um, or strategies or missions or different things that you have at hand? So if you're really reassessing the alignment of who you are now um, and what you want to do and how you want to contribute and what you want out of your life, then looking at what you share with others um, whether it be from within or literally externally from a material standpoint is going to be important to you and using that and setting intentions to help you move certain things forward, okay? Virgo, Virgo Risings, this new moon is happening in your ninth house and this is the long-term vision. Um, Capricorn is about the strategy, right? It's about the tangibles, but that ninth house energy is about the expansiveness, okay? It's a Jupiter um, um, ruled house. So it's about the philosophy behind it. It's like the big picture thinking um, that is way beyond just the material aspect. It's anchoring to something bigger than self. <laughs> um, and so it's like, what is your mindset or your philosophy behind why you want what you want and why you want to do what you want to do? Um, and where does that come from on a larger scale? And setting intentions to be very intentional <laughs> about what you do so that it is anchored in something bigger. It's anchored in faith. It's anchored in some type of belief. Libra, liberalizing. This is going to be in your 10th house, this new moon. And and your 10th house, that's the house of your public service, right? So in this house, it's really about doubling down on, my God, how, how am I really making impact? How am I making impact? Like, and how am I making impact on a day-to-day -day so that it's in alignment with, like, the larger trajectory of my life, um, the work that I do? <laughs> my career, how I'm spending my time, it matters. And is that in alignment with who I am now and what I'm becoming? Um, not who I was, right? Because we've transformed. So that is going to be important for you to set intentions specifically on making that align. Scorpio, Scorpio Risings, this new moon is in your 11th house. And the 11th house is your social networks, also your dreams, your wishes, and all of that type of thing. But I would say that the biggest thing here is using your networks. How do your networks support or, or can support what you want to do? That long-term vision, those goals, what you, how you want to contribute, how you're transforming, like all of that stuff that I've said for the other houses, but using your networks, your social circles, your friends to advance that, okay? Um, Sagittarius, finally, finally, my Sagittarius rising. This new moon is in your 12th house. So the intentions that you're setting are very, very below the surface because the 12th house is everything that is internal and in the subconscious mind. Like it is the stuff that you can't grasp. So sometimes you're being driven by the things that you have not even identified as driving you because it's happening so subtly and so subconsciously. So really spending time in meditation um, to allow some of those subconscious patterns and also like the recognizing of like, are my subconscious patterns actually furthering me along and the pushing me in the direction I want to go? Or are they holding me back? Are we telling ourselves mental stories or different things? Like what kind of contracts have you made with yourself that's keeping you held back and playing small in certain ways because you're afraid of X, Y, and Z based off of whatever subconsciously is going on in there? And we all have it, right? We all have it with different things. So 
spending time to actually, you know, be in meditation to allow some of that to maybe come up to the surface because sometimes when we're moving we're busy we don't have the time for those things to come up and be revealed to us and number two also setting intentions to like push those fears and those different subconscious cycles um into like i want to say a dormant state i don't I, but i don't want it to be dormant i want them to be eradicated <laughs> like eradicate them so that you are able to you know move forward in the way that you need to um and not be held back by yourself because that's a lot of our own conditioning um and things that we've picked up in life that have now kept us stuck it's like a mental stuckness um so yes that will be very important for you to look at keep in mind set intentions around at the time of this new moon so that is it on this capricorn new moon it is wonderful wonderful energy um I'm looking forward to it, especially this 111. It's happening on 111, um, so January 11. So that is really, really good energy. And I don't know if I told you guys what time it's happening. It is happening at um, 6.56 a.m. Eastern time. So it's first thing in the morning. Um, so you can work with that energy either the 10th, like the night of the 10th, going into the 11th, or you can work with it that morning, like wee hours of the morning is great great for clarity the world is quiet now not a lot of movement on this side of the world right now um if you're on the opposite side of the world of course wait till like you know it's quiet people are sleeping things are calm um but that's when a lot of clarity tends to come into us so i hope that you found this video helpful i'm so so happy to be back i will see you guys in the next video really really soon and um happy new moon happy setting your intentions see you in the next one peace mm -hmm.